Hey guys, it's Shannon. Thank you so much for joining me for today's coloring book haul. So two things I want to get out of the way right from the beginning. Number one, I apologize for any hammering or power tool noise you hear. They're building a house behind us and it's pretty loud. So um, I just, they're out there every day building. So there really isn't another better time to film this. So I do apologize for that. Number two, if you saw the thumbnail, you know this is like a ginormous, gigantic coloring book haul. Um, I did not buy all these coloring books just recently. This has been over about the past six months. It's been that long since I filmed a coloring haul and I figured, you know what, I'm just going to drag them all out. We're going to look at them really quick and it is what it is. So get something to drink, get a snack because we're going to be here a while. Okay, that said. Um, I'm going to flip through these. I'm not flipping through every page. There are lots of flip throughs on YouTube. You can look. I'm just going to flip through a little bit to give you an idea. I do have some marked because I've completed pages or I have works in progress. Um, I'm not going to hover on those or show them in this video because I do have a video coming up where I show all my completed pages and you know, I will show you then. So let's go ahead and get into it. First book I have right here is the Princess Coloring Book by Jade Summer. Um, in the back of this book, they put, um, is it, yes, they give some like, um, what do you call it? Oh my goodness, you guys can't think today. There's like previews from their other coloring books. Like that's Grim Fairy Tales. We have cute unicorns. But this is the princess book. So you can see these images are super duper cute. I think this is the book that um, you get two of each image, which is nice because then you can split the book in half and share with a friend, or you can color the same picture in two different ways or perhaps with two different mediums. Like maybe you want to use crayon, um, crayons, colored pencils and markers or something like that. So there is the princess coloring book. Next up, whoa, we have a couple Deborah Moeller books. So the first one I have here is Born is the King. This is a Christmas themed book. And I hope you guys can see, let's see. Let me zoom in just a little, that zoomed out. Okay, we'll zoom in just a little bit there. Um, yeah, this is just a fun Christmassy themed book. Really cute pages. And I can't wait till this Christmas to get into this book. Next up is another Deborah Moeller. This is Christmas Magic. Again, another Christmas book. See, my books here are causing a shadow. There we go. So this one at the back has some pages that you can color and fold in half and use as cards. And then it has all these great images. I really love Deborah Muller's work. And I was introduced to Deborah Muller artwork on Anne Hatfield's channel. So Anne, if you were watching, Thank you for watching and thank you for sharing Deborah Moeller books because I love them. Okay, here's another one, Gothic Angels. They're so cute. I love the variety that you get in the books too. There's just so many great pictures in these. Next up, it's another Deborah Moeller. This is Day of the Dead, Girls, Skulls, and Pets. like that sugar skull. So another really cool book. <laughs> I love that one. We also have Hannah Lynn, one of my favorite artists. This is Maui Mermaids and Island Whimsy Girls. So Hannah Lynn's work is just stunning. Absolutely love it. Oh, <laughs> there's one that's gonna be in my completed pages video. Really, really cute. Next up is Hannah Lynn Fairy Tale Princesses and Storybook Darlings. I have not started in this one yet and I can't wait to. I mean, these are just adorable. When I saw that this book was coming out, I, 
I'm like, I have to have it. Like, immediately, I have to have it. <laughs> so cute. And in this book, you get two of each image as well. Okay, Nikki Burnett, I think, yes. Spellbinding Images, Grayscale Beginner's Edition, Volume 3. These images are a lot of fun to use marker on. <laughs> you can see. I'll show you right there. That's a work in progress. Um, I love using alcohol markers on these pages. They just color so well. And it's just a lot of fun. And up here in the beginning, you get like a full color image and then um, some practice spots. But love these. I have another one. This is volume two. Same thing. Grayscale. Look at the turtle. That is adorable. Okay. I think these are just really cute too. I love her artwork style. So there's that. Okay. Another Deborah Moeller. This is Fairy Merry Christmas. So another Christmas book with great images. Oh, there's one of my completed ones. Oh, another completed one. <laughs> Um, yeah, I love this book. Okay, next up are two books I got on Amazon. I don't know what they're called because they're not in English. Oh, let's see, what does it say? Coloring, Beautiful Princess, Fairy in Myth, and Gorgeous Princess. Okay, so there are little tags on here. Um, there's a whole bunch of these that you can get. I think these are really cool because all of the backgrounds are done for you. So you just color in these beautiful girls and they're just, that, I just think it's so cool that those backgrounds are done. So I haven't colored in either of these yet. I actually need to get on that because I love these books. So here is a look at the back. It looks like there's at least eight different ones. Next up, this is one of my newest purchases. This is Whimsical Wonders by Julia Speary, I think. And the paper in this book, you guys, it's like a dream. It is the nicest paper. And of course the images are just adorable as well. And there's one of my completed ones. Um, it's a lot of fun to work in this book. And I mean, I just, there's not a good, there's not enough good things I can say about this book. I, I just, it's a great purchase. I would totally pick that book up. Okay, next, Finding Wonderland. This is a story troll coloring book. This is like a doodle book. And sometimes I just like to color me some doodles. So really adorable. I love this one. She's like opening the treasure box or the toy box and all this stuff's coming out. This is great artwork. Okay, another newer purchase. This is Broken Circles Adult Coloring Book 2. So this book, you get half the book with black backgrounds and half of the book with white backgrounds. And I just thought these were really cute that it's like telling a story, but then it's like broken up. Here are the white background ones. There's a work in progress. Okay, Lunar Mysteries Coloring Book by Heather Valentin. This is Lacey Sunshine Volume 53. I love Heather Valentin's work. Like, if I had my way, I would own every single volume of her coloring books. And there's a lot of volumes. Obviously, this is number 53. Jade Summer Vampires. This is the Grayscale Vampire Edition. So I'm just starting... Oh, there's another completed one. I'm just starting to get into Grayscale. And I have been enjoying it thus far. That one right there, let me go back to it. Let me see if I can find it. Do, do, do. This one, for some reason, this reminds me of like He-Man. <laughs> Masters of the Universe or something with these like tigers here with little helmets. Okay. Jasmine Beckett Griffith Mermaids, another absolute favorite artist of mine. Um, I, I just love everything about her work. She actually has done 
Disney images that I bought um, postcards and like art prints of at Disney World when we were there. That's actually how I saw her work for the first time. And I was so excited to find out that she had coloring books. So that's her uh, most recent coloring book. Jade Summer, the Easter coloring book. I honestly picked this up just because I've never had an Easter coloring book and I thought that might be kind of fun. So there you go, the Easter coloring book. Has some really cute, simple images that I think will just be a lot of fun to color. Cat Doodles, Cuteness Overload. I told you I love some doodles and I love cat doodles even more. <laughs> Look at all the kitties in a kitty hot air balloon with a tail. <laughs> that is so cute. And they're driving in a car. It looks like they're going to the beach. They have a fan, an umbrella, a beach ball, and a refrigerator because, you know, cats have priorities. So look at that kitty. Oh my goodness, hold on you guys. <laughs> look at that one right there, sitting on the suitcases. That is hysterical. I would love to have that kitty. Big old grumpy kitty. Okay, Fairy Tales Doodle Adventure. This is by the same artist, Ronnie C. Pios, or Pios. So doodles, but with a fairy tale theme. Can't go wrong with that. There's Rapunzel. <laughs> These crack me up. Okay, we're about halfway through, guys. Are you hanging in there with me? This is a Deborah Moeller book, Little Sweethearts. I like this one a lot too. They're just so simple and adorable. Okay, Deborah Moeller, again, Cowgirls and Indians. This one has names for the people, like this is Belle, this is Daisy May, Enola, Rosie. Patsy. It's not the name. Yeah, I think that's Sarah Prudence. I don't know. Their names are either next to them or on the back of them. They're next to them. It's the first one in the book is Jane. This is a fun little book. This is actually from Dover, I believe. Yes, Dover. This is Princess Leonora, a stained glass coloring book. And these images are see-through. They're like a vellum, as you can see. So when you color these, you can put them up against a window and kind of see the stained glass through. So they're really, really beautiful images. When you color these, you do need to put like a white piece of paper behind them so you can kind of make the images out better. Um, but that's a lot of fun. It's a very different book from anything I have. Okay, Anime Doodle Fantasy Characters by Jenny Luan. I think this is volume one and I have just purchased her most recent book too. There's that one. I forgot I had this book. How bad is that? So this is Beautiful Fairy Tales, The Snow Princess by Ruth Sanderson. And this is a grayscale book. This grayscale book, honestly, is super intimidating to me. These images, they're gorgeous, but they just, I mean, look at this, you guys. They just seem like, how on earth am I going to color that? It looks like... Ugh. I just, I don't even know, but they're gorgeous and I'm going to attempt it one day. Next up is a book from Hachette Heroes. Hachette? Hachette Heroes. This is Disney Volume 3. This is a color by number book. And I believe I saw these for the first time on Zoe Archer's channel, but I'm not 100% sure. So... There are actually four different versions because a new one just came out. But these are like crazy detailed. Like, look at that. But it gives you the numbers and colors down here and you just kind of follow the images. Um, let me show you a couple at the back. They, at the back, they give you a key and kind of show you the finished images. So the pages, I mean, the pictures are just amazing and I can't wait to do 
hey hey right there and i bought that one from amazon uk so next up i have two fabiana atanasio books i have hansel and gretel and cinderella when these came out, I missed getting them and they were only available for a super limited time. And then I had to, um, where'd I buy these? I don't even remember. Book depository maybe or something like that. They only had foreign versions, but I didn't care because, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to read the story. I just wanted the beautiful pictures, so I went ahead and picked up, I think these might be the Italian versions, but don't quote me on that. Um, Cinderella is like my second favorite princess, so I had to get Cinderella. And then I had to get Hansel and Gretel just because I have every other one of Fabiana's books and I wanted them all. And I really hope she puts out more. It seems like it's been a while since one has come out, so I hope she's not done. Um, if you guys have any info on Fabiana, let me know because I really hope there's going to be more. Next up, Jasmine Beckett Griffith, the Halloween coloring book. I already talked about my love for Jasmine Beckett Griffith, so I'll just flip through this. I have a couple finished in here. Like I said, some of these books I bought quite a while ago, but I had never shown them on the channel, so I just decided to go ahead and do that. Okay, the Koi Winter and Christmas Adult Coloring Book. I adore this one. I love this drawing style. I have a couple books by this same group, same artists, and love it. Jade Summer, the Unicorn Coloring Book. More unicorns than you could ever imagine. And unicorns with princesses. Awesome. Jade Summer, Alice in Wonderland. This has some great images. It's a very different style for Alice in Wonderland and I like that a lot. Nice Little Town Easter. I just recently picked up more of these books and this is now my second Easter coloring book. But I love the Nice Little Town series. Zen Doodle Coloring Winter Wonderland. This just has all different kinds of winter images in it. Oh, I love that one. I can't wait to get back to doing this one, but somehow when it's like 100 degrees outside, it doesn't feel like I want to color winter. It makes me sad. <laughs> Grimm's Fairy Tales, Volume 1. This is another one. Okay, so it gives you like some of the story and then a drawing. This is another one by that same um, one I just flipped through a minute ago. I love the artwork style of these. So, I mean, just come on. These are awesome. Just, just awesome. So that's a great book. Yam Puffs Stuff, a kawaii coloring book. Here you go. I did not mention earlier in the video, but in case you are still watching, I am going to try to link these all in the description. So in case you're interested in one, you can follow that link and go to Amazon and find them. My Little Pony the Movie, A Colorful Quest. Um, if you follow the link on Amazon, I am an affiliate, so I make a small percentage of your sale. It doesn't cost you anything extra but they just give me a little bit, which helps to buy more stuff for the channel. So I appreciate it if you use any of the links that I've provided. Jade Summer Baby Dragons. Look at all these adorable little baby dragons. Oh, I want him. <laughs> They're so cute. Look at this one. Awesome. Okay, another fun book, The Animal Quest Christmas Color by Numbers. So this is just, again, you just get all these little um, shapes. I think the whole book has, yeah, the same. Some of the books have like different shapes, like triangles, squares, things like that. But that's another fun book, all Christmas related. Okay, the next two here are called Mystery Mosaics. I have book five and book six. 
These are squares and some of them are even pull out posters. And again, you just get the little um, color key and you can obviously color different images. So like for example, this book here, some of the images included. Okay, we're getting there guys. I don't know what this one is called. I think I bought this from Etsy. So my foreign books, I mostly get off of Etsy. And um, this one says girls coloring book on the front. But this one is just, I thought really unique. It has different colored backgrounds for you already um, on some of them. But it's just really, really sweet. Okay, here is another one. This is Colors Make You Happy. I believe there are several volumes of this and I think this is volume one. I like all the little fashion and princess kind of related images. Next up, this is Cinderella. And again, just a really cool book. I love a lot of the international coloring books that we don't get here. The paper in them is always so nice too. Okay, Vintage My Room. This book is crazy awesome. I really like the dark um, lines in this book. They're very bold. So that has just like a bunch of different rooms of the house. Okay, Frozen art therapy book, 100 images to color. These books have a lot of what are like considered wallpaper type images, but I have found that those are a lot of fun to watercolor. And then of course you have some really cool images as well um, that aren't wallpapery, but this one is a lot of wallpaper. I will tell you that. <laughs> but I think it'll be really pretty once it's all colored up. Okay, couple left guys. Harvest Home, Color Creatives. I think this is one that was a magazine, like sold in the magazine section of stores. I actually bought mine on Amazon just because I really liked all the autumn and fall themed pictures. This one, I thought I was buying something like totally cool and different. Apparently it's in the, what is that, the time? The Time Chamber, that series. I think this is one of the books from that series, just the foreign edition of it. So there were coloring samples in the back. Yeah, I thought I was getting some, I can't talk, something totally different, but nope. <laughs> okay, last three. These are actually ones that my husband Paul had bought because he thought he was going to color and then he decided he didn't want to color. So I have Kirby Rosanna's Mythomorphia. These books kind of intimidate me too. I mean they are so cool and so detailed. I just don't think I can do them justice but eventually I will color them. I have Imagimorphia. Same thing. I'm sure you guys have all seen these before, so I'll just flip really fast. And last but not least, Fantasia. So, another great book with awesome images, and I love that it's spiral. It makes it easier to color. So that is my haul, you guys. Whew. I need to go get a drink of water after all that. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, if you're interested in any of these books, of course, I would appreciate if you would follow the link provided to um, see those books for sale on Amazon. That would be awesome. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy coloring and um, check back soon. I will have a completed coloring pages video to share with you. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.